Have you ever thought about using focus modes with your iPhone to trigger smart home automations and Home Assistant? For example, you could have your garage door open automatically the moment your car pulls into the driveway based on a driving focus. It could even unlock your door. Or you could have your home's alarm system arm itself automatically when you actually go to bed based on a sleep focus. No need to buy an additional bed sensor. On this channel, I cover how tech can make you more productive. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. The more time I spend trying to automate my home, the more I realize how many exciting possibilities there are. But often it requires buying an additional smart home device or sensor to make that happen. Don't get me wrong, I could happily get carried away adding more gadgets to my smart home. But sometimes you can do more with what you already have without needing to spend more money. For a while, I kept thinking of automation ideas based on the focus mode on my iPhone. Now, if you're unfamiliar with focus, it's a feature on iPhone and Mac that allows you to control the notifications you see. When sleep focus is activated, for example, it automatically puts your phone into a do not disturb mode. You could have another focus for work, so only work-related messages or those from your family come through. There are lots of possibilities. Using the Shortcuts app in iOS, you can create automations built around the current focus, but if you use Home Assistant like I do for your smart home control, well, I finally figured out how to create automations using focus. I'll show you how I did it and then share a couple examples of how I'm using this. To create these automations, I'm using the following services. Home Assistant as my smart home platform, Apple HomeKit, Shortcuts iOS app to dictate what happens during the focus mode, HomeKit bridge integration in Home Assistant to connect Home Assistant with Apple HomeKit. Before I go through each step, I'll give you the big picture. We're gonna create a virtual switch in Home Assistant called an input Boolean and then make that switch function in Apple HomeKit. Then we'll create a shortcuts automation to turn the input Boolean on if a certain focus mode is on and turn it off when that focus mode is off. The main automation will live in Home Assistant and use a condition to only run when the input Boolean is turned on. If your head is spinning, don't worry. I'll take you through all of this step by step so you can do it too. Let's start with Home Assistant. Here, we'll create an input Boolean. Remember, this is the virtual switch we'll use to tell our home automation if it should run or not. Go to Settings, Devices and Services, then Helpers, and then Create Helper. Choose a toggle helper and then give it a name. For this example, I created a helper to automatically open my garage door when I pull in the driveway, so I called it Garage Open. Then click Create. Now we need to get this input Boolean to appear in Apple HomeKit. To do this, we are going to bring our Home Assistant devices into Apple HomeKit using a Home Assistant integration called HomeKit Bridge. Go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and search for Apple. Then click to see HomeKit Bridge and select it. Then select the domains from Home Assistant that you want to appear in Apple HomeKit. This is a super cool integration and there's a lot more to say about it, but for right now, I'm just going to focus on the focus automation use case. For that, we are interested in selecting the domain input Boolean, then click Submit. I already have HomeKit Bridge added, but after you click Submit, it's going to ask you if there are any entities you want to exclude, meaning you don't want them to appear in Apple HomeKit. I have lots of input Boolean switches, but for now, I'm only interested in having certain ones appear in HomeKit for automations using Focus. So I've selected the others that are not relevant for this, so they are excluded. After you click Submit again, it's going to ask about device triggers. You can just ignore that for now and just click Submit. Then click Finish. Now. Open the Home app on your iPhone, and you should see the input Boolean that you've just created in Home Assistant now magically appearing in your Home app. Next, open up the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. 
click automation, and then the plus sign in the upper right. For the garage door opening automation, search for focus and then select driving. Choose when turning on and run immediately. I don't want shortcuts notifying me when it runs. I use Home Assistant so all my smart home notifications are in one place. Click Next and then click on New Blank Automation. Search for Control My Home and click it. Tap Scenes and Accessories and then select the input boolean that we brought from Home Assistant into HomeKit. Then turn it on and click Done. What this does is switch on the input boolean when your iPhone turns on driving focus, which for me happens whenever I connect my iPhone to Apple CarPlay in my car. Now we need to create one more automation in shortcuts that turns off the input boolean when your iPhone is no longer in driving focus. We're gonna repeat the same steps. So in the shortcuts app, click automation and then the plus sign in the upper right. For the garage door opening automation, search for focus and then select driving. Choose when turning off this time and run immediately. Click next and then click on new blank automation. Search for control my home once again and click it. Tap scenes and accessories and then select the input boolean that we brought from Home Assistant into HomeKit, but this time make sure it's off and then click done. What this does is switch off the input boolean when your iPhone turns off driving focus, which for me happens whenever I disconnect my iPhone from Apple CarPlay in my car. Finally, we need to create an automation in Home Assistant using the state of this input boolean. In Home Assistant, click Settings, Automations and Scenes, and Create Automation. I'll show you the one that I created and that I use. The automation triggers when I enter my home geofence zone. Your home zone is something that you typically create when you first install Home Assistant. Then the automation checks to see if the input boolean is switched on. Remember, it will switch on automatically whenever my iPhone is in driving focus and switch off when it is not. Then it waits for five minutes to see if my driveway camera detects a vehicle. This is how my smart home knows when my vehicle is on my property. Then it opens my garage door and sends an image of my driveway in a notification to my phone at the time this occurred. I like to have notifications whenever a door is opened or unlocked automatically just for my own peace of mind. So to recap, we created a virtual switch in Home Assistant called an input boolean and then made that switch appear in Apple HomeKit. Then we created shortcuts automations on iPhone to turn the input boolean on if driving focus mode is on and turn it off if driving focus mode is off. We built the main automation in Home Assistant and used the condition to only run if the input boolean is turned on, meaning driving focus is also on. But having your garage door open using driving focus is just one example. Another way that I'm currently using a focus automation is at bedtime. When my iPhone goes into sleep focus, it automatically puts our ring alarm into home and armed mode, so we don't forget to do it. Another idea is to prepare your home office by turning on your lights and more when your phone enters work focus, and much, much more. I'm really excited about the potential for focus mode automations in Home Assistant, and I'm just getting started. Let me know in the comments what type of smart home automations you would create based on a focus mode. If you're wondering how to have your home's lighting automatically adjust its brightness and color temperature throughout the day for the perfect ambiance using Apple HomeKit or Home Assistant, you'll wanna check out this video here. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you stay more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. For example,